No water coming out. I'm gonna get down there and see what's up. So, it's really warm out today, and um, I think it's time to uncover the boat. See what shape she's in, see how much cleaning I'm gonna have to do before I load her up, and also make sure that this motor fires up and I winterize it correctly. Um, it's always a good idea to check this stuff out long, like a week, two, or even longer, before you can put your boat in for the year, um, because you're not the only one that might have motor troubles going in the spring and want to get their boat right away for early jigging season out here on the big river. So let's get cutting into this uh, shrink wrap and get this off and we'll, we'll see what we got. So, it's pretty much exactly how I left it. I forgot how dirty I left it when I uncovered it. Uh, got a little bit of cleanup back here in the splash well. A bunch of leaves, my rod socks. Um, I can't, there we go. <sighs> gonna have to do a little vacuuming, a little cleanup. Probably gonna wait the next week to do that. Oh, I left my scale out here. Let's see if she still turns on. Screen's not broken. Still got power. Still got that last day of smallie fishing. Can't believe I got, that's the only fish I got for 1935. I really wish I would've got a fifth one that day. <sighs> but all in all, she looks pretty clean. So let's hook her up to a hose. Drop the battery in it. Let's see if she fires up right off the bat this year. Now it's time to flip the breaker. We got the water running on the motor. We're gonna flip this bad boy over, see how much she smokes. Tweak the muffs a little bit, make sure it was going good. Let it run for a minute at a fast idle, make sure everything's going good. 
when you do this, make sure there's nothing near the prop because that's gonna do some damage. But we'll let this idle for a little bit. She's sounding good. Like American muscle car, just nice throaty feeling. More power. But one thing that I'm sure I'm gonna get questions from guys is what the heck is this bucket? Well, the packaging pretty much tells you what it is. Um, but whenever you store your, a boat, um, moisture can build up underneath the cover, either shrink wrap or your boat cover. And if it's gonna be closed up for a very long period of time, it's a good idea to put one of those up underneath there. Um, it's gonna protect you from a lot of moisture buildup, mold, whatnot, which is gonna damage and wear down your boat, make it look junkier than what it is uh, for the year. So you wanna take care of this investment, no matter if it's a $2,000 boat or $80,000 boat, uh, you should definitely do this type of stuff. Uh, just make sure everything stays nice and neat and clean inside there and it doesn't build up mold and just, hell, just be a better quality product for longer for you guys.